So I want to show you today a fun thing you can try with Quantum, the quantizer from ML, basically turning notes on and off from an external signal. I have here the sequencer from VCV, the SEC3. Going through Quantum, I have the notes of the C major scale turned on. This is sequencing the FM operator going through some delay. It will sound like this. Write a simple eight step sequence. I want to add some variation by turning the notes of the of the quantizer on and off. Right, and by that, changing the sequence. This we can do with an external uh, source. So I have here the random module from VCV. You don't have to use random. You can use also another sequencer or something else. I will show you also in a second. Right, this will basically output, random will basically output random voltage. I'm going to use the first gate output of the sequencer. So with each first um, step of the sequencer, it will output a gate. This will trigger the sample and hold or will trigger the, uh, the random the module will tell it when to generate random signal, right? And I want it to use this uh, random signal to turn on and off the notes on quantum. So I'm going to send this through another quantum. Now, in this case, you don't have to use quantum. You can use any other quantizer you like. I'm going to use quantum just so I can select which notes um, I want to be selected, right? Because I'm using a random source. So let's say I want to leave a uh, C E and G I want to leave, right? Those are the uh, notes of the C major chord. And I want to turn on and off D, F, um, A, and B, right? This is why I use another quantizer. Again, I'm using a random source. So I want to make sure it will choose the right notes or the notes that I want to be changed. This will go to the note CV input on quantum. This will tell quantum which notes to turn on and off. And now with the toggle input, we can tell quantum when to do this. You can use clocks, random signals, whatever. I'm going to use the same gate output from the sequencer. Now have a look here. Right, you can see notes are turning on and off and we get variation in the sequence. Right, again, you don't have to do this with a random source. You can also use a sequencer or you can use also your MIDI keyboard. This is a question I see a lot. How you can use your keyboard when you're playing chords or whatnot to control also a quantizer and to quantize sequences. So here I have the ADDR sequencer going through quantum. You can see for now there are no notes active and this will um, sequence basically kitchen sink from squinky labs. Now I have quantum in the right click menu set to poly gate mode, which will work with polyphonic uh, signals through the note and toggle. So I have here the MIDI module set with my key step. It's here, you cannot see it, but believe me, it's here. <laughs> And I have it set to polyphony of eight, so I can enter up to eight notes at once. Now, as, as long as I press a note, it will turn on quantum and will stay on as long as I hold it. When I let go, it will also turn off. So if, for example, I do this with the note C, right, I hold the note C and you can see it here. When I let go, it turns off. So when you play chords, for example, with your MIDI keyboard and you want to have a, a sequence that will work with those notes, you can use quantum to do this. So I can enter more notes. And change them, right? 